Hello and welcome to Giga Play Studio Tutorials. So let's look on this tutorial how we can take a different high map inputs inside the world machine and stitch them together. So right here example, I have a Photoshop and created this just simple generated map so you can see we have it um, matching. And what we're going to do, we'll split left and we'll split right separately. So right here we have it left and right, I think. So with two of them, we'll go save them separately and we'll see how we can stitch. The reasons why you want to do this, maybe inside the uh, DM map or some other, you're generating a terrain that you want to use or draw and you want to stitch those together. We also look how we can stitch with a different type of terrain based on high map. So in this case, if you create a map and you want smooth transition, we'll look on different way how to stitch them. So let's begin. We'll go inside the world machine and I'm using world machine pro version. It's not different from standard or other versions. Mostly it is you have bigger tiles you can work with and um, more tiles and also faster render by utilizing more cores. But you can do same things with um, other versions as well. So right here, what I want to do, we want to go inside the generator and we want to use the file input. So let's just create for now three file inputs. Okay, we'll go open one and we'll go to preload. And when I want to load, it is right side. So we'll go open. Okay, let's go click OK right now here. And we'll set name to the right. So kind of let me know what it is happening. So let's go open other ones. We'll go preload and we'll go to the left. Okay, let's click OK. We'll set name. And let's preload one more. In this case, one with your sites not matching one. So then we'll call this, um, let's go OK, set name. Okay, and we'll just go call mix it. So kind of let us know what we're doing. So at this point, we have those images. If we look on our layout, and you can see they're almost stuck together. So we need it unstuck, move them away. We have several ways we can do this. One, we actually can, can go inside the file we want to move and utilize the world placement. And you can see we can kind of adjustments when we need it. Okay, the other way, so actually what I want to do, it's utilizing um, offset and it just help you to kind of figure out what's going on. So we'll go inside the parameters and in the parameters, we'll see coordinate generator. So let's use this ones. So it will be same effect, but it just let you to show they have other options you can uh, attach to. And all what we need to do is just take this link and connect to our coordinates input. Okay, let's go right now back to our layout. Okay. And right here, we can look on our main extend. And what I want to do for main extend, I want just increase about twice the size so we can look what's going on here. Okay. So let's now go inside the our generator and we want to move this right side a little bit more to the right amount of moving we can look inside our um, extent and you can see we have it right here this is about one point so to make it easier to navigate and for us to look let's create a couple new layouts and attach them to our uh, file input okay we'll go create layout generators and we'll just go to connect them. Okay, this way you just make it a little bit easier. You can see precisely positioning. So right here is zero one and we want to move to one, 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 one. So we want to move just by one point in our generator. So right here in the coordinate generator, we'll just go and you can just even type in one. And even you type in, you need kind of move out of field and you can see right here it's moved by one point. So right here, we have it our on the left side, we have it on the right side. 
Okay, next what we want to do is take two of them and combine together. But we're using this by using our combiner. And let's go connect both of those fields. We'll open and save this to the max by the number. Okay, and all the way. So this is actually not hard so far. Okay, let's go to render preview and you can see it's actually stitching very well on this map. Okay, we have a little bit bleed of from our main size, which is fine. But right here you can see it's stitching very good. So the difference it's become when you have it a little bit um, other ways. So example, let's go to select this one. We'll put it again one on our right channel. Okay, we'll go to connect this to generator and we'll just replace it for now. Okay, so when we do this way, here's what we have it. You can see how the split between. And this is multiple ways we can apply to blend those two edges together. We can increase, we'll show both of them, or we can decrease both ends. In many cases, when you complain, you may have it a smaller, larger, and a shorter kind of taller, shorter. So we'll look on this one. And sometimes maybe you have it same height. But we look on the, this system when it's one is shorter, one and taller, which is a bit harder, will be to blend. Okay, to blend them together, okay, let's move this away. We need to apply to some more of layout generator. For this, let's go back right here. And you can see where the middle this point, we kind of need to blend. So let's go create a new layout. And you can use a circle, polygon, whatever you want it. I'm just, for example, we'll use a box. And I'm just going and put it right here with a stitch. I'll just make a one box. Okay, we'll go open this box. Maybe reduce fallout. It's up to you. This is total creative point of we'll going. Also, I want to use a breakout on this area. And just pop up roughness. So it's a little bit more up, break up. Let's go back to our node view. And right here is our layout generator. So the layout generator, I want this effect my tallest one. So and we're going by utilizing another combiner and connect two of them together. Actually right here. And right here, okay. So we can preview, you can see already how it's affecting. Okay, let's go to, um, and we can see add, max, and we can have it minimum. So let's go just go with add. And all what I'm looking for the line, and you can see how we applied already. Okay, let's go look on the also screen may work as well. Okay, one thing I don't like this kind of mountain top look. So what I want to do is going to generator, take the advanced prone and just insert between them. It just help us to create a little bit more kind of ruggish look. Okay, here we can decrease probably a bit stiffness. And you can see we start already kind of blending a little bit this edge right here. We still need to utilize um, probably not add mode. Okay, let's go check what we have here. Screen. You can probably go with a max in this case. Okay, you can see well we're creating this almost like mountain ridge. We can decrease. Problem with this one. The our tallest point on the mountain that is blending must be no shorter that highest peak on the edge. Otherwise, it will kind of start looking more blending. This is by creating high points. So again, if we go with this area, okay, and you can see kind of creating. Okay, we can go take this way. 
just decrease so we don't have anything. And let's add more. And right here you can see we kind of create almost this ridge. We can work a little bit more even on this mountain, but this is one way to blend if you want to create like wall between something or more mountain ridge. Another way is what we're doing, we're hiding this between them. Okay, the other ways we can do also is just take our and invert values. So for our on this case, what's happening will now have a um, minimum area. Okay, let's go to minimum. And we start dissolving, blending this edge right on the end. So you can see okay, how we can start blending, we can just almost dissolving this edge right here to the end. This way it's kind of smoother applying. In some cases, what you can do with this, we'll take um, right mix and we'll go select this outside behavior and we'll just say mirror. And now we can have the blend edge a little bit pop up. Before it's one effect when it's nothing there. Click OK. And you can see it's now kind of start blending a little bit better right around here. Still need retouching, just small things. Actually, let's work OK. Maybe take a little bit even lower on some area before inverse. But you can see now we start blending those edges a little bit better right around this area. So it's depend what you're going. If you're going for creating like a wall mountain between two areas, you want to increase or if you want to take and down otherwise. Okay, so let's me let look a little bit more on this one. Okay, right here I want probably maybe increase. Just look on different fallouts. I think this one will probably work a little bit better. Okay, and we can also just go to natural filter and put it erosion right around there. Let's increase. Okay, and just so it's make a little bit more nicer, we'll also add right here. Okay, let's connect. Render and preview. And you can see right here how we kind of take two of those and merge um, them together. Okay, right here, obviously, we have a little bit overflow. But we can also create just a square over, over what we've done is just blending those edges, make them smoother. But you can see we are stitching together two different terrains. And in different technology, different ways you can do it. Again, if you have it from same map, you probably just want directly connect without worried about um, the input. And those cases will work very well. But if you have a two different um, areas you want to connect, you can also work very easy way just by using file input and um, combiners. Again, I'm using layout generators mostly just so I can see the area where it's located. It just make a little bit easier for me visually, but you don't necessarily need to do that. Thank you for watching this tutorial from Kick it Play Studio, and please remember visit us on the web is www.kickitplay.com.